Hey. All right, new video here about mirroring features. So I'm going to use 659 here as an example. So this part 69, let's say you started a model in it, and then um, you see I'm going to need to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 holes here and 2 holes here on this bottom of the part. So I've started mirroring. I'm like, shoot, uh -huh, I can keep going and add more holes. I mean, it takes time, but you know what? I'm also going to need to try to put in this triangle somehow. How am I going to build that? That's going to be difficult. Well, if I had a plane here in the center, I don't because of the way I built the part. It would be a lot easier if I had a plane right here in the center. So you have a couple options. You can go back and edit sketch one and reorganize the part so that you do a symmetric extrusion so you have a plane there in the center. If I don't want to do that, I have another option. I can add a plane to the center of the part. So to do that, what I'm going to be doing is using the plane tool up here. So this plane tool reads, create new construction planes by referencing existing planes or geometry. One, select reference geometries. And then step two, specify distances or angles as necessary. So I'm going to cl click that to create a plane. So I've created plane one. And I want to offset, oh, I want to offset this right plane. So now it's going to create a new plane right here. That's where I put it right now. Right now it's offsetting only one inch. You have other options in here for uh, um, other ways you can create a new plane. We're just going to use offset for this. And we want to offset it halfway through this part. In particular, we want to offset it halfway between a distance between A and D, point A to D. A and D is 9.75 inches. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to offset this 9 points, oops, 9.75 divided by 2. So that's the nice thing about this. I can just use it as a calculator, and it automatically calculates it for me. So it's going to put it plane one there. Perfect. Check. Now we have a plane here in the center we can draw sketch off of to create that triangle, as well as we can use it to mirror these holes. So what I'm going to do, show you how to mirror. So let me put this isometric so you can see. There is a tool up here called Mirror. So this reads, create a mirror copy of one or more selected parts, features, or faces about a plane or planar face. One, select one or more parts, features, or faces. Two, select the plane or planar face to mirror about. So when I use this, it's going to be key to change one setting for us. And it's, it's confusing about this, is that it defaults to part mirror. I don't want a part mirror. I'm just dealing with one part here. I don't want a part mirror. I want to select this. I want a feature mirror. Okay. I want a feature mirror. Okay. So now I'm selecting what I want to mirror. I want to mirror extrude four and I want to mirror extrude three. So I just click four and three, it adds it here to features to mirror. So it's going to extrude, it's going to mirror both extrude three and four. And now I can select a plane. I select mirror plane here. What plane am I mirroring about? I'm mirroring about plane one, selected there on the tree. Oh, look at that. It's mirroring those holes for me. Done. Perfect. OK, and then on top of it, I can go ahead and sketch this triangle now using the same plane that I have. So I select the plane. I sketch. Bring it forward. And now I can sketch off of this plane. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple things here um, just so I can snap the points easily. Uh, I'm going to use projector convert and I'm just going to select that edge there and that edge there. Perfect, creates new lines there for me. And now I should just be able to snap from this point to this point. Done. I don't even need to dimension anything because I use those con um, converting those lines. Check. Sketch is done. And now I will extrude. Sketch 5. And uh, we don't want to go that direction. We want symmetric. That way it's in the center. Mm -hmm. And P is the distance 1.12. 1.12. done. Creating planes makes life easier, doesn't it? Yep, it does.